and there's tons of those. Heard via the Jack Spring Electric Keel Newsmaker Hotline. Katie Wilkins, Chief Nursing Officer at Krista shreveport Bozier Health Systems. Happy Nurses Week, and thanks for all that you guys are doing. I mean, it's been crazy, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Thank you so much for the Happy Nurses Week. How? Let's kind of start here. Okay. Um, what was it and at what age that inspired you to get into nursing? And if there's a common thread among you and all your fellow nurses that makes you the people you are, what is that? Well, I think it's our, our um, belief in Jesus Christ and that we're serving a ministry, that we're serving a higher power. The nurses at Christus are special. There's a, there's a special thing about um, the, the ministry and the service that we do that kind of raises up the care that we give, I believe. Um, how did I get into nursing? My, my father um, was a physician, and he kept saying, you'd be good at this, you'd be good at this. And I went off to art college and realized He's right. I really enjoyed caring for patients, and I'd been working in his office. And came back and pursued my nursing career, and I've never regretted it. I think when you, you asked about nurses and what brings them to the to the um, practice or the call, everybody's got a different story, and they're they're so interesting when you ask nurses. Some of them wanted to be a nurse since they were a child. Some of them. Um, actually have care in the hospital, and that's how they come to it. Um, you know, there's there's all kinds of different stories, but I think it's one of the things that brings us together when we talk about those stories um, and share. Real, real quickly, um, how, how are things going to change in your profession as a result of this pandemic we've been experiencing? Well, there's a lot of things that are, are changing every day, you know, day to day. Um, I believe, you know, we have always um, practiced very, very strong um, safe infection control um, practices. Um, this isn't new to us. I mean, we've had things in our hospital for years in our practice where, you know, washing hands and using proper PPE has been key to our practice. But even now, as I watch the nurses, particularly in our critical care units, they're, they move at a little bit of a different pace. They're more methodical. They're um, uh, more careful than I've ever seen nursing to be in making sure that they're practicing the proper PPE, that everyone has a mask on, that everyone is washing their hands. They don't you know, they don't mix words. If you've forgotten to do something, they call you out immediately and they take care of each mm -hmm. other. I think the other piece is um, we've had an added heighten of compassion with our patients. We've always been compassionate with our patients, but right now our families um, can't be there with their patients. So those nurses and respiratory therapists and, you know, caregivers, physicians, providers, we're the only family they've got right now. Mm. Um, the nurses are doing a lot of phone calls to the patient's families and giving them updates, and the physicians are doing the same. Um, but they can't be there 24-7. We've used some iPads to communicate with family members um, and have those conversations and, and bring the iPads, you know, with video into the rooms for the family members to um, talk to their, their, their uh, loved ones. Um, and it's, it's just been a different world. Absolutely. We also use we use video on in the unit. Um, we have um, laptops in the room. We have laptops at the nurses station, and we can do visits um, that way. You know, to talk back and forth because we do need to limit the exposure um, to our our providers and our nursing staff and in going into the room. Mm -hmm. And so we try to you know. Um, do a little bit more of a plan when we go into the room and um, care for the patients. And it's all been kind of an evolving um, change of practice as we've been moving through this, um, this crisis. 